Hey guys. <laughs> Today's video, I'm talking all about how to save a down payment for your first investment property. I bought my first investment property about a year and a half ago and praise the Lord, it's cash flowing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't want to take that for granted, okay? But this video isn't about how to choose the right investment property. This is how to save up enough cash to, you know, get, get the first one. Truth be told, it was very serendipitous how I got my first property. So I'm making this video because I really want to get my second property and I haven't been the best with money management. Let's be honest, let's be real. And so what I'm doing is, this is just as much as for me as it is for you, but I'm gonna, what I did was I went back and I thought about and remembered all the things that I did the first time that really helped position me to get my first investment property. And now I am ready to start the journey to secure the second one. Why do you want an investment property? It's a amazing way to park your money and eventually make more money in the future if you chose the right place. Here on my channel, we're all about freedom and reclaiming your power. And one of the most amazing ways to do that is through financial freedom and being able to determine, hey, I have enough cash flow, so I decide where I want to live. I decide if I want to work. I decide how much I want to work if I decide so. The first step is you're going to want to make a budget. You know how much money you have coming in and how much money you have coming out. If the amount of money you've got going out is higher than how much money you have coming in, then amigo, you have a problemo. <laughs> Ideally, you wanna have excess money coming in. So when you look at your budget, you write down all your necessities, your rent, your food, your transportation, your gas, whatever other things like medication, vitamins, like whatever else is a necessity, write that down. And then you're gonna to wanna to write your non-necessities down. So how much money are you spending on leisure? How many times are you going to the movies? How many times are you going to Popeyes? Write it all down and calculate it. How much are you spending on Amazon? What about all your subscriptions, your Netflixes, your Hulus? And then look, can I cut anything out of my non-necessity list? And when you finally realize I've had this Aloe Yoga app for two years, haven't used it, maybe like two or three times. This isn't me, because I actually use my app. <laughs> but if you haven't used it, then cut it out, cancel subscriptions, call the bill companies, ask if you can lower how much you're paying, negotiate prices, all of that stuff. So basically, you wanna have an excess amount. And that excess money of what's left, once you're done paying off your debt, because when you do buy something big, the bank looks at your debt to income ratio. So pay off your debt, pay it down as much as possible, but then you wanna start saving. This isn't gonna be your emergency fund savings because you should have, I think it's three to six months of an emergency fund. That's over here. But you're gonna to wanna to save for your opportunity fund. Whee! So that when you do find the perfect investment property, then you're gonna have the money to put towards it. I highly recommend if you want to use that money within a certain amount of time, like if you're like, I'm gonna buy a house within the next like year or so, then you're gonna to wanna to probably put that in a high interest savings account. What the high interest savings account allows you to do is still like, kinda of like make money off of your money, but it's very low risk. You wanna change careers and you wanna start going, you wanna get into a career that pays a lot more. You wanna try something new. I highly recommend checking out the tech field. There's tons of tech boot camps. You can go and get certified when you graduate. You can graduate with a job. A lot of people graduate with jobs over 100K before they know it, they're like 200K plus. Another option is to side hustle. When I was saving up for my down payment, one thing I did was I side hustled like crazy. And everybody knew that I was saving money. So they were like, Becca, can you babysit? Can you house watch? Becca, we have a wedding and we need someone to help be a server. We need a greeter. Can you help? And I was like, yes, sir. And once I got my check, I'd go straight to the bank and deposit it straight into my opportunity fund. My favorite way to increase my income is starting a business and that's what I did. I was able to leave my full-time corporate marketing job and start a digital marketing agency where thank the good Lord, hallelujah, I am making more than I was at my corporate job. And the freedom that it has given me is crazy. Look at me, I'm talking to a camera because I have time. The things you can do, you can sell more product, you can secure another client to increase your income. That's one of the many things that I love about owning a business. I know a woman who is an assistant at a pretty prestigious 
company and she ended up starting a VA company, a virtual assistant company on the side and hiring virtual assistants and then managing them and then outsourcing them to her clients. So she actually still is at her full-time job, but she has this VA agency on the side. So she's making a full income from both of her business and her normal nine to five job. When it comes to saving for a down payment, there's so much that you can do, but the key steps are to budget, to limit your unnecessary expenses, use a high interest savings account to save your money, and then finally, find ways to increase your income. Oh, and also pay off debt. I do have a video all about how I paid off my student loans and credit card debt. I'll link it in the description box down below. Check that one out because you want to pay your debt down before you purchase an investment company. Go watch that video right now. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see from me and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Smash it. Bye.